Hi, I'm Robert with Terra Exploration Group, and this is the Easy Res Pro. This is a very easy to use resistivity meter, and it's a great tool for finding underground anomalies like caves, water, mineral deposits, and even buried caches. It's also one of our tough series detectors. That means that we have put it through the ringer, and it will withstand the typical abuses of field work. It also means that it works as advertised. So no gimmicks, just results. Today I'm going to show you how to find a cave. This one behind me is about 40 or 50 feet below the surface and about 30 to 40 feet back into the cliff. So what we're going to do is go up above here and send our electrical currents down into the ground until we find it. But first let me show you inside the cave, then we'll go up top and I'll show you how to set up an array. So as you can see it's a pretty decent sized cave down there. And it, you know, it goes back 20 or 30 feet. And we're going to climb back up there and we'll do our array from, from the top. But this just to show you that there's actually a cave under here. And we're going to find it. Okay, what I'm going to show you here, this stay on the trail sign. It's going to be kind of right at the center of our cave. So we're going to look for that when we go up to the top. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but that stay on the trail sign. Right, right down in there. Right in the center of the picture. What we're going to do is set up our array right about here. Okay, so I've got the probes out. You don't know why we're going down that way. Um, I've got them about 30 feet in every direction, or in each direction. We have a two probe array going. That'll give us about 30 feet of depth. And that will be, it's actually gonna give us, uh, we need a, Set this in meters, 60, it's so like 20 meters. All right, now we do our reading. This will give us a baseline. The uh, actual cave is a little bit deeper. Okay, 110. Call it 111 kilo ohms. Do it one more time just for repeatability. Okay, 110.7 kilo ohms. So we'll just call it 111. I'm going to move the arrays out to um, the depth of the cave and then we'll get another reading. Okay, um, we got the array set uh, at 30 meters apart now. So change that to 30 and take our reading okay 107 so we're not quite there yet okay I've got the race set at 40 meters now so let's set that Now hit start, 157 ohms, so it's gone up, kilo ohms, 157 kilo ohms. So it's gone up considerably, uh, so we're just starting to touch into it. So I'm gonna stretch out a little bit more and uh, we'll get a reading again. Okay, now I've got the array set at 50 meters. Set that at 50. Earth, hit start, 243 kilo ohms, so uh, that's gone way up, so we're pretty well into it. Since this cave is so long, it'll just keep getting bigger. We'll never actually be able to get under it, so 
it's a good demonstration right there that's kind of changes you're looking for so that's kilo ohms so that's two twenty four thousand two hundred forty three thousand ohms from 107,000 ohms to 243 uh, it's more than doubled so that's what you would be looking for out in the field that's the Terra Exploration Group Easy Res. That is part of our professional Tough Series line of detectors. Robert Leonard signing out. Thank you.